Hello, welcome to another DoBlue.com video review. And those of you who have watched some of the videos in the past are looking at this and thinking, didn't he already do a video of that? And in fact, I did. And the reason I'm showing you this is just for a comparison purpose, because this isn't what we're reviewing. This is what we're reviewing. This is the Alien Egg Blu-ray disc from Sideshow Collectibles. Uh, it also includes the entire Alien Anthology on Blu-ray. Um, here's the side of the box, which gives you the image of what is inside. And this is the other side, which is the same image. And pretty basic top, just some H.R. Giger artwork there. Bottom is uh, instructions on how to do the batteries and all that fun stuff. And the back includes everything that you get inside the set, which again has all the Alien Anthology stuff. Uh, this is uh, glued to the back. I haven't pulled it off, but it's basically just a replica of the side artwork, so there's really no reason to pull it off. So let's get inside the box. It's a easy flip there. Oh. Flip this open, pull out a piece of plastic, protected plastic of course, nice and glowy, and then you can get to the Alien set. Inside the box, there's a little piece of plastic down there molded to fit, so it isn't going to move anywhere in case you need it to, or if you drop it or something along those lines. So this is it. This is the Alien Anthology Egg Collector's Edition, which was only supposed to be released at Comic-Con, but Fox has recently made this uh, available to most people, <coughs> excuse me, in the general public. Um, I believe they also pre-sold them if you wanted them for like 150 bucks. This I only got for 60 so that's not too bad, I guess, in the scheme of things. And then you look at it and you're kind of like, oh, 60 bucks, I guess it's not awful. Um, so first of all, it's kind of a mushy, rubbery type of substance. It's not a plastic. Even the Alien kind of has a rubbery feel to it. Uh, the Alien design itself actually, and kind of interestingly, um, blends into the egg. It's kind of cool. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be in terms of the movies. And also, of course, anyone who's watched the movies knows uh, the Alien is significantly larger than any of the eggs. So I, I, I don't know what is up with the design, but he's quite small, but he is quite glossy. I like that. It gives it that real you know, salivary feel that the aliens tend to have and all, all kinds of slime and stuff like that. It squishes a little bit. There's a little bit of motion. You can feel some electronics inside. Um, that is for a reason. There is a plastic base. This is all plastic. Uh, there's the bottom. That's where the batteries go. I'm not gonna open that compartment because there's already batteries and there's no need to. There's a switch. So what is the switch for, you ask? Well, what I'm going to have to do is turn off the light very briefly uh, to show you. I may uh, nick the camera here while I do that, but forgive me, we're going to find out what this does. And voila, it lights up. Ooh, ah. Um, so that's kind of cool. I, you know, I guess you can imagine a, a facehugger busting out of that. It would be cool if there's something inside you could see a la facehugger or something in there, um, kind of ready to burst out. There's like some red simulated blood, I, I, I guess. I don't know. Um, it's just there to give a little bit of detail and pop. Uh, it's nothing extravagant, but hey, it lights up, and that's cool. Um, so you're still probably wondering, where are the discs, right? This is the Alien Anthology. Of course, you want the Alien Anthology to include the discs. They're in the back. They're right here. There's a switch. Clip, open, and there they are. Um, here's the thing, they're in there tightly. Uh, the very first time I went in to get these, uh, I don't know how well this is going to show on camera, but I actually bent the side of this trying to get this out. They're in there, and they're in there pretty tight. Um, they do not come out well at all. I just nicked the camera trying to do it. Um, so there you go. So here it is. It's a much smaller case than the old Alien Anthology. Um, much smaller case. I do like the artwork on this one, though. I like the egg better than I do the head, quite honestly. Uh, at least a little bit. And the backs are a little bit different. This is, of course, where you get the egg action on the old set. And this is where you get it on the smaller set with even more eggs. Um, you open it up, and the discs are held very similarly to the where they were elsewhere. Uh, cardboard cases, discs are exactly the same in terms of artwork and all that fun stuff. So nothing spectacular there. They're still held in cardboard. There is a slip of paper here. Uh, this is to do the mother mode uh, on one of the Blu-rays and uh, disc unbound. This came to be bent. I'm assuming the paper's bent for most people. Uh, and there are the extra feature discs. On the insides, you get more artwork, because that's what everyone needs is more alien artwork. You never have enough. And it's different for most of these as you flip through. Uh, I think that's kind of a cool feature. 
and there's that. And then as you close it, and that's it. Um, some cool stuff on the discs. I'm not going to go into them because, like I said, I did already. And there will be links uh, in the YouTube video, probably down there, I'm assuming. Unless you're watching this in the future when they've done a redesign and they have moved everything. In that case, just kind of figure it out yourself, I guess. Um, so it doesn't slide back in here real well. Uh, it really has to be straight. If you have to close this in any way that is incorrect... You know, if one of these sections is sticking out a little bit or they're not straight, it doesn't go back. Um, I had a really hard time getting it back in after I got it in, quite honestly. Uh, it really takes some work to kind of line it up and make sure you're okay, but that's in there. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, this set kind of reminds me of the T2 set, uh, the Endo Skull. That's kind of where the discs were, and the discs were uh, on one spindle, so at least you get kind of a case. Um, as far as it goes, you know, if you can get this... 50 60 bucks i wouldn't pay any more than that like i said it originally retailed for like 150 had i paid that and i considered it uh i would have been ticked off but i don't think 50 60 is too bad because quite honestly the alien anthology uh just for the standard blu-ray is 50 60 bucks so that'd be a great deal uh but i know you can get the alien anthology now for about 30 35 used or uh kind of from a reseller or something like that you can get it for about 35 so that'd be the way to go for sure uh if you're really you know just don't want the egg but if you're a collector um Keep in mind, these are a limited edition. Each one is numbered. If you didn't see that on the back, um, they are numbered. This is uh, limited to 2,500, but do note that there is actually no individual number on here. So you do not know like what number you got. I don't know if this is number one. I don't know if this is number you know 2,500. I, I have no idea what number this is. So I guess limited could be just a marketing gimmick. I don't know for sure. Um, unfortunately, I don't have access to all 2,500 of these to find out. But um, it's a decent set. It's clearly a very large box. It's actually a little bit smaller than the T2 box. I keep hitting the box because I'm so close to the camera. This is a very large box to handle. Um, it's a little bit smaller than the T2 box if you go back and watch that video. So that's something, but it is going to take up quite a bit of space. Clearly, um, you could fit a Blu-ray on here and a whole lot more uh, if you wanted to. And of course, the standard Blu-ray, there's just no comparison. And there is a DVD, as always. And just in case, you know, if you really want a good size comparison, we'll do this. That's a laser disc um, of Alien. And this even trumps that in almost every single way. As you can see, this is lined up to the top of the laser disc right there. And there's still room to play with to the side. That's about right. So, laser disc is a little bit bigger in terms of height, but clearly this one has a, a whole lot in the width department. So, not bad a set. Um, I'll include a link on Amazon if I can. I'm not sure if Amazon even sells these. I actually got this on eBay. Fox Connect was having a sale, and I grabbed it from them. Uh, if you're a huge Alien fan, sure, it's the way to go, but don't pay a lot. I, I just I don't think it's worth it. I think the design is kind of stupid, quite honestly, with the alien hugging the egg. Again, the, the size proportions for a true movie fan are just way off the mark. Uh, but it lights up. And hey, you know what? Lighting up stuff is cool. So I'll give him credit there. Uh, thanks for watching. And check out the links in the bottom. Uh, you'll see all the Blu-ray reviews if you were interested. Uh, I'll also include a link to the original Alien Anthology box set if you want to check that review out. And until the next time, thanks for watching.